Hello again, everyone. Time for another episode of Soothing Stories with Megan. I know you've all missed me. This week, we're going to be reading a, a myth called Inanna and Enki, which is a Sumerian composition. You may remember me talking about it in the video I did on the maze. In this myth, Inanna visits Enki, gets him drunk and proceeds to make off with the maze. Enki wakes up and demands to know where his stuff has gone. And his vizier tells him that, oh, you gave it to Inanna. So then he has to give chase and sail down the river to catch her. This is quite fragmentary. You'll notice as we go through, there are a lot of ellipses. There are some question marks where scholars are unsure of the exact translation of a word. Uh, I will render it as I have been through all the other stories that I've read. I'll give a pause where there is a break or a fragment. I'm sorry if this gets frustrating. This is a bit more fragmentary than some of the other stories that we've read. But it's such a good myth that I didn't want to miss it out. So, let's get going. She of the desert. She put the shugara, the desert crown, on her head. When she went out to the shepherd, to the sheepfold... Her genitals were remarkable. Her genitals were remarkable. She praised herself, full of delight at her genitals. She praised herself, full of delight at her genitals. She looked at, she looked at, she looked at. When I have gratified the Lord, when I have made brilliant, when I have made beautiful, when I have made glorious, when I have, when I have made perfect, when I have made luxuriant, when I have made exuberant, when I have made shining, when I have made return, when I have made brilliant, when I have made shimmering, I shall direct my steps to the Abzu, to Eridu. I shall direct my steps to Enki, to the Abzu, to Eridu. And I myself shall speak coaxingly to him, in the Abzu, in Eridu, I myself shall speak coaxingly to Enki, in the Abzu, in Eridu. Had her go out. Inanna, it is I who, I, Inanna, personally intends to go to the Abzu. I shall utter a plea to Lord Enki, like the sweet oil of the cedar, who will, for my holy, perfume. It shall never escape me that I have been neglected by him who has had sex. On that day the maiden Inanna, holy Inanna, directed her steps all by herself towards Enki's Abzu in Eridu. On that day, he of exceptional knowledge, who knows the divine powers in heaven and earth, who from his own dwelling already knows the intentions of the gods, Enki, the king of the Abzu, who, even before holy Inanna had approached within six miles of the Abzu in Eridu, knew all about her enterprise. Enki spoke to his man, gave him instructions. Come here, my man, listen to my words. She will drink, she will eat. Come here, I will do. The maiden, the Abzu and Eridu, Inanna, the Abzu and Eridu, when the maiden Inanna has entered the Abzu and Eridu, when Inanna has entered the Abzu and Eridu, offer her butter cake to eat. Let her be served cool, refreshing water. Pour beer for her in front of the lion's gate. Make her feel as if she is in her girlfriend's house. Make her as a colleague. You are to welcome holy Inanna at the holy table, at the table of An. After Enki had spoken thus to him, Isimud, the minister, followed his master's instructions closely. He let the maiden Inanna into the Abzu and Eridu. He let Inanna into the Abzu and Eridu. When the maiden had entered the Abzu and Eridu, when Inanna had entered the Abzu and Eridu, she got butter cake to eat. They poured cool, refreshing water for her, and they gave her beer to drink in front of the lion's gate. He made her feel as if she was in her girlfriend's house, and made her as a colleague. He welcomed holy Inanna at the table, at the table of Arn. So it came about that Enki and Inanna were drinking beer together in the Abzu, 
and enjoying the taste of sweet wine. The bronze Argo vessels were filled to the brim, and the two of them started a competition, drinking from the bronze vessels of Urash. I will give them to Holy Inanna, my daughter. May not. Holy Inanna received heroism, power, wickedness, righteousness, the plundering of cities, making lamentations, rejoicing. In the name of my power, in the name of my Abzu, I will give them to Holy Inanna, my daughter. May not. Holy Inanna received deceit, the rebel lands, kindness, being on the move, being sedentary. In the name of my power, in the name of my Abzu, I will give them to Holy Inanna, my daughter. May not. Holy Inanna received the craft of the carpenter, the craft of the coppersmith, the craft of the scribe, the craft of the smith, the craft of the leather worker, the craft of the fuller, the craft of the builder, the craft of the reed worker. In the name of my power, in the name of my Abzu, I will give them to Holy Inanna, my daughter. May not. Holy Inanna received wisdom, attentiveness, holy purification rites, the shepherd's hut, piling up glowing charcoals, the sheepfold, respect, awe, reverent silence. In the name of my power, in the name of my Abzu, I will give them to Holy Inanna, my daughter. May not. Holy Inanna received the bitter-toothed, the kindling of fire, the extinguishing of fire, hard work, the assembled family, descendants. In the name of my power, in the name of my Abzu, I will give them to Holy Inanna, my daughter. May not. Holy Inanna received strife, triumph, counselling, comforting, judging, decision-making. In the name of my power, in the name of my Abzu, I will give them to Holy Inanna, my daughter. May not. Holy Inanna received. He has given me righteousness. He has given me the plundering of cities. He has given me making lamentations. He has given me rejoicing. He has given me deceit. He has given me the rebel lands. He has given me kindness. He has given me being on the move. He has given me being sedentary. He has given me the craft of the carpenter. He has given me the craft of the coppersmith. He has given me the craft of the scribe. He has given me the craft of the smith. He has given me the craft of the leather worker. He has given me the craft of the fuller. He has given me the craft of the builder. He has given me the craft of the reed worker. He has given me wisdom. He has given me attentiveness. He has given me holy purification rites. He has given me the shepherd's hut. He has given me piling up glowing charcoals. He has given me the sheepfold. He has given me respect. He has given me awe. He has given me reverent silence. He has given me the bitter toothed. He has given me the kindling of fire. He has given me the extinguishing of fire. He has given me hard work. He has given me... He has given me the assembled family. He has given me descendants. He has given me strife. He has given me triumph. He has given me counselling. Enki spoke to the minister Isimud. Isimud, my minister, my sweet name of heaven. Enki, my master, I am at your service. What is your wish? Since she has said that she would not yet depart from here for Unug Kolaba, that she would not yet depart from here to the place where Utu, can I still reach her? But Holy Anana had gathered up the divine powers and embarked onto the boat of heaven. The boat of heaven had already left the quay. As the effects of the beer cleared from him who had drunk beer, from him who had drunk beer, as the effects of the beer cleared from Father Enki who had drunk beer, the great Lord Enki turned his attention to the building. The Lord looked up at the Abzu. King Enki turned his attention to Eridu. 
Enki spoke to Isimud the minister. Isimud, my minister, my sweet name of heaven. Enki, my master, I am at your service. What is your wish? Where are the offices of En-priest, the office of Lagar-priest, divinity, the great and good crown, the royal throne? My master has given them to his daughter. Where are the noble scepter, the staff and crook, the noble dress, shepherdship, kingship? My master has given them to his daughter. Where are the office of Egizid priestess, the office of Nindingir priestess, the office of Ishib priest, the office of Luchma priest, the office of Guduk priest? My master has given them to his daughter. Where are constancy, going down to the underworld, coming up from the underworld, the Kugara priest? My master has given them to his daughter. Where are the sword and club, the cultic functionary Sang or Sang, the black garment, the colourful garment, the hairstyle, the hairstyle? My master has given them to his daughter. Where are... My master has given them to his daughter. Where are the standard, the quiver, sexual intercourse, kissing, prostitution, running? My master has given them to his daughter. Where are forthright speech, deceitful speech, grandiloquent speech, the cultic prostitute, the holy tavern? My master has given them to his daughter. Where are the holy Nigin Gar shrine, the mistress of heaven, loud musical instruments, the art of song, venerable old age? My master has given them to his daughter. King, in the house of Enki should not a forgetful word. Full of advice, loud-voiced, knowing much, they said, by the bolt of the temple door a frog spoke. He showed him to a place. Enki grasped the frog by his right paw. He showed him into his holy. He received the halub tree and his box tree. He gave to the bird of heaven. He gave to the fish of the subterranean waters. The prince spoke to his minister Isimud. Enki addressed the sweet name of heaven. Isimud, my minister, my sweet name of heaven. Enki, my master, I am at your service. What is your wish? Where has the boat of heaven reached now? It has just now reached the key. Go now. The Enkum are to take the boat of heaven away from her. The minister Isimud spoke to holy Anana. My lady! Your father has sent me to you. Inanna, your father has sent me to you. What your father said was very serious. What Enki spoke was very serious. His important words cannot be countermanded. Holy Inanna replied to him, What has my father said to you? What has he spoken? Why should his important words not be countermanded? My master has spoken to me. Enki has said to me, Inanna may travel to Unug but you are to get the boat of heaven back to Eridu for me. Holy Anana spoke to the minister Isimud. How could my father have changed what he said to me? How could he have altered his promise as far as I am concerned? How could he have discredited his important words to me? Was it falsehood that my father said to me? Did he speak falsely to me? Has he sworn falsely by the name of his power and by the name of his Abzu? Has he duplicitously sent you to me as a messenger? Now, as these words were still in her mouth, he got the Enkum to seize hold of the boat of heaven. Holy Inanna addressed her minister, Ninshubor. Come, my good minister of Ayana, my fair spoken minister, my envoy of reliable words. Water has never touched your hand. Water has never touched your feet. So Inanna got hold again of the divine powers which had been presented to her and the boat of heaven. And then, for the second time, the prince spoke to his minister, Isimud. Enki addressed the sweet name of heaven. Isimud, my minister, my sweet name of heaven. Enki, my master, I am at your service. What is your wish? Where has the boat of heaven reached now? It has just now reached the holy. Go now. The fifty giants of Eridu are to take the boat of heaven away from her. The minister, Isimud, spoke to holy Anana. My lady! Your father has sent me to you. Inanna, your father has sent me to you. What your father said was very serious. 
What Enki spoke was very serious. His important words cannot be countermanded. Holy Anana replied to him, What has my father said to you? What has he spoken? Why should his important words not be countermanded? My master has spoken to me. Enki has said to me, Inanna may travel to Unug, but you are to get the boat of heaven back to Eridu for me. Holy Anana spoke to the minister Isimud. How could my father have changed what he said to me? How could he have altered his promise as far as I am concerned? How could he have discredited his important words to me? Was it falsehood that my father said to me? Did he speak falsely to me? Has he sworn falsely by the name of his power and by the name of his Abzu? Has he duplicitously sent you to me as a messenger? Now as these words were still in her mouth, he got the fifty giants of Eridu to seize hold of the boat of heaven. Holy Anana addressed her minister Ninshubal. Come, my good minister of Ayana, my fair-spoken minister, my envoy of reliable words. Water has never touched your hand, water has never touched your feet. So Anana got hold again of the divine powers which had been presented to her, and the boat of heaven, and then for the third time the prince spoke to his minister Isimud. Enki addressed the sweet name of heaven. Isimud, my minister, my sweet name of heaven. Enki, my master, I am at your service. What is your wish? Where has the boat of heaven reached now? It has just now reached the Ulma hill. Go now. The fifty Lahama of the subterranean waters are to take the boat of heaven away from her. The minister Isimud spoke to holy Inanna. My lady, your father has sent me to you. Inanna, your father has sent me to you. What your father said was very serious. What Enki spoke was very serious. His important words cannot be countermanded. Holy Anana replied to him, What has my father said to you? What has he spoken? Why should his important words not be countermanded? My master has spoken to me. Enki has said to me, Inanna may travel to Unug, but you are to get the boat of heaven back to Eridu for me. Holy Anana spoke to the minister Isimud. How could my father have changed what he said to me? How could he have altered his promise as far as I am concerned? How could he have discredited his important words to me? Was it falsehood that my father said to me? Did he speak falsely to me? Has he sworn falsely by the name of his power and by the name of his Abzu? Has he duplicitously sent you to me as a messenger? Now, as these words were still in her mouth, he got the fifty Lahama of the subterranean waters to seize hold of the boat of heaven. Holy Anana addressed her minister Ninshubal, Come, my good minister of Ayana, my fair-spoken minister, my envoy of reliable words. Water has never touched your hand. Water has never touched your feet. So Anana got hold again of the divine powers which had been presented to her, and the boat of heaven. And then, for the fourth time, the prince spoke to his minister Isimud. Enki addressed the sweet name of heaven. Isimud, my minister, my sweet name of heaven. Enki, my master, I am at your service. What is your wish? Where has the boat of heaven reached now? It has just now reached the field hill. Go now, all the great fish together are to take the boat of heaven away from her. The minister Isimud spoke to holy Inanna. My lady, your father has sent me to you. Inanna, your father has sent me to you. What your father said was very serious. What Enki spoke was very serious. His important words cannot be countermanded. Holy Anana replied to him, What has my father said to you? What has he spoken? Why should his important words not be countermanded? My master has spoken to me. Enki has said to me, Inanna may travel to Unug, but you are to get the boat of heaven back to Eridu for me. Holy Anana spoke to the minister Isimud. How could my father have changed what he said to me? How could he have altered his promise as far as I am concerned? How could he have discredited his important words to me? Was it falsehood that my father said to me? Did he speak falsely to me? Has he sworn falsely by the name of his power and by the name of his Abzu? Has he duplicitously sent you to me as a messenger? Now, as these words were still in her mouth, he got all the great fish together to seize hold of the boat of heaven. Holy Anana addressed her minister Ninshubal. Come, my good minister of Ayana, my fair-spoken minister, my envoy of reliable words. Water has never touched your hand. Water has never touched your feet. 
So Anana got hold again of the divine powers which had been presented to her and the boat of heaven. And then, for the fifth time, the prince spoke to his minister Isimud. Enki addressed the sweet name of heaven. Isimud, my minister, my sweet name of heaven. Enki, my master, I am at your service. What is your wish? Where has the boat of heaven reached now? It has just now reached... Go now. The guardians of Unug are to take the boat of heaven away from her. The minister Isimud spoke to holy Inanna. My lady, your father has sent me to you. Inanna, your father has sent me to you. What your father said was very serious. What Enki spoke was very serious. His important words cannot be countermanded. Holy Inanna replied to him, What has my father said to you? What has he spoken? Why should his important words not be countermanded? My master has spoken to me. Enki has said to me, Inanna may travel to Unug, but you are to get the boat of heaven back to Eridu for me. Holy Inanna spoke to the minister Isimud. How could my father have changed what he said to me? How could he have altered his promise as far as I am concerned? How could he have discredited his important words to me? Was it falsehood that my father said to me? Did he speak falsely to me? Has he sworn falsely by the name of his power and by the name of his abzu? Has he duplicitously sent you to me as a messenger? Now as these words were still in her mouth, he got there, the guardians of Unug, to seize hold of the boat of heaven. Holy Anana addressed her minister, Ninshubor. Come, my good minister of Ayana, my fair-spoken minister, my envoy of reliable words. Water has never touched your hand. Water has never touched your feet. So Anana got hold again of the divine powers which had been presented to her, and the boat of heaven. And then, for the sixth time, the prince spoke to his minister Isimud. Enki addressed the sweet name of heaven. Isimud, my minister, my sweet name of heaven. Enki, my master, I am at your service. What is your wish? Where has the boat of heaven reached now? It has just now reached the Surangal Canal. Go now, the Surangal Canal, are to take the boat of heaven away from her, from holy Anana. The minister Isimud spoke to holy Anana. My lady, your father has sent me to you. Inanna, your father has sent me to you. What your father said was very serious. What Enki spoke was very serious. His important words cannot be countermanded. Holy Anana replied to him, What has my father said to you? What has he spoken? Why should his important words not be countermanded? My master has spoken to me. Enki has said to me, Inanna may travel to Unug, but you are to get the boat of heaven back to Eridu for me. Holy Anana spoke to the minister Isimud. How could my father have changed what he said to me? How could he have altered his promise as far as I am concerned? How could he have discredited his important words to me? Was it falsehood that my father said to me? Did he speak falsely to me? Has he sworn falsely by the name of his power and by the name of his abzu? Has he duplicitously sent you to me as a messenger? Now, as these words were still in her mouth, he got the Surangal Canal to seize hold of the boat of heaven from Holy Anana. Holy Anana addressed her minister Ninshubo. Come, my good minister of Ayana, my fair-spoken minister, my envoy of reliable words. Water has never touched your hand. Water has never touched your feet. So Anana got hold again of the divine powers which had been presented to her and the boat of heaven. And then her minister Ninshubo spoke to Holy Anana. My lady, today you have brought the boat of heaven to the gate of joy, to Unug Kolaba. Now there will be rejoicing in our city, now there will be rejoicing in our city, barges on our river. Holy Anana replied to her, Today I have brought the boat of heaven to the gate of joy, to Unug Kolaba. It shall pass along the street magnificently. The people shall stand in the street full of awe. Festival, the boat of heaven. He shall recite great prayers. The king shall slaughter bulls, shall sacrifice sheep. He shall pour beer from a bowl. He shall have the Shem and Allah drums sound, and have the sweet-sounding Tiggy instruments play. The foreign lands shall declare my greatness. My people shall utter my praise. When she had the boat of heaven to the gate of joy at Unuk Kolaba, it passed magnificently along the street. It reached the maiden's house, and she, its place, the purified well, her principal well. 
Inanna, the divine powers which had been presented to her, and the boat of heaven at the Gippar gate. At the Agron chamber, holy Inanna, the boat of heaven. The prince addressed his minister Isimud. Enki spoke to the sweet name of heaven. Isimud, my minister, my sweet name of heaven. Enki, my master, I am at your service. What is your wish? Where has the boat of heaven reached now? It has just now reached the white key. Go now. Admiration, admiration, the boat of heaven. Holy Inanna, admiration. Inanna, you have brought with you the office of N-priest. You have brought with you the office of Lagar priest. You have brought with you divinity. You have brought with you the great and good crown. You have brought with you the royal throne. You have brought with you the noble scepter. You have brought with you the staff and crook. You have brought with you the noble dress. You have brought with you shepherdship. You have brought with you kingship. You have brought with you the office of Egezid priestess. You have brought with you the office of Ningdinger priestess. You have brought with you the office of Ishib priest. You have brought with you the office of Luchma priest. You have brought with you the office of Guduk priest. You have brought with you constancy. You have brought with you. You have brought with you. You have brought with you going down to the underworld. You have brought with you coming up from the underworld. You have brought with you the Kun Nara priest. You have brought with you the sword and club. You have brought with you the cultic functionary Sang or Sang. You have brought with you the black garment. You have brought with you the colourful garment. You have brought with you the hairstyle. You have brought with you the hairstyle. You have brought with you the standard. You have brought with you the quiver. You have brought with you sexual intercourse. You have brought with you kissing. You have brought with you prostitution. You have brought with you running. You have brought with you forthright speech. You have brought with you deceitful speech. You have brought with you grandiloquent speech. You have brought with you. You have brought with you the cultic prostitute. You have brought with you the holy tavern. You have brought with you the holy Niganya shrine. You have brought with you. You have brought with you the mistress of heaven. You have brought with you loud musical instruments. You have brought with you the art of song. You have brought with you venerable old age. You have brought with you heroism. You have brought with you power. You have brought with you wickedness. You have brought with you righteousness. You have brought with you the plundering of cities. You have brought with you making lamentations. You have brought with you rejoicing. You have brought with you deceit. You have brought with you the rebel lands. You have brought with you kindness. You have brought with you being on the move. You have brought with you being sedentary. You have brought with you the craft of the carpenter. You have brought with you the craft of the coppersmith. You have brought with you the craft of the scribe. You have brought with you the craft of the smith. You have brought with you the craft of the leather worker. You have brought with you the craft of the fuller. You have brought with you the craft of the builder. You have brought with you the craft of the reed worker. You have brought with you wisdom. You have brought with you attentiveness. You have brought with you holy purification rites. You have brought with you the shepherd's hut. You have brought with you piling up glowing charcoals. You have brought with you the sheepfold. You have brought with you respect. You have brought with you awe. You have brought with you reverent silence. You have brought with you the bitter toothed. You have brought with you the kindling of fire. You have brought with you the extinguishing of fire. You have brought with you hard work. You have brought with you. You have brought with you the assembled family. You have brought with you descendants. You have brought with you strife. You have brought with you triumph. You have brought with you counselling. You have brought with you comforting. You have brought with you judging. You have brought with you decision making. You have brought with you the establishing of plans. The attractiveness of women. You have brought with you to handle the perfect divine powers. You have brought with you small. You have brought with you exalted. You have brought with you the holy tiggy, the holy lilis, ub, messe, and ala drums. You have brought with you the of holy an. You have brought with you the 
of holy on you have brought with you the of holy on you have brought with you the of holy on you have brought with you all of the beer where the woman joy she named it with the name the house ganza is rebuilt where the trader said fifty shackles but when he brought it there was less she names that place with the name potsherds and scrap metal where the boat she named it with the name where the boat came to dock at the quay she names that place with the name white key where she names that place with the name blue key enki spoke to holy anana in the name of my power in the name of my abzu i will establish in my abzu for the woman why has this one now entered here taking the divine powers from me may the in your name may there be a festival may pass their time at the gate of your gipa may the citizens of your city anana the citizens of unug live and as for you enki may your city eridu and has indeed restored as i said in the beginning that's exceptionally fragmentary and i'm sorry it does showcase quite nicely the uh, mesopotamian preference for repetition in literary works i think i probably repeated a couple of those si slides at least five times but it's a good tale and it shows you quite clearly the fascinating relationships that are present between the gods of mesopotamia these aren't all-powerful all-knowing deities that you may expect especially from the judeo-christian tradition these are entities who quarrel who have very personal relationships with one another who can be incredibly tricky and in inanna's case <laughs> are not above getting people drunk and nicking their stuff and then sailing off down a river with it and make, making uh, the rightful owners chase them to retrieve their property and as i know i said in in the video i did about the maze here translated as divine powers this myth gives us a very comprehensive list of all of the things that were considered necessary for civilization to flourish in mesopotamia good and bad so you've got strife in there among other things as well as all the different crafts that you need like barrel making and leather work as well as um interestingly enough uh the dichotomy of being on the move and being sedentary which i strongly suspect correlates to pastoral nomadism so the the urban peoples who would have stayed in one place for the majority of their lives um, needed and recognized the importance of their nomadic counterparts who as far as my knowledge goes were instrumental in providing livestock uh, to the city folk you know, quite a symbiotic relationship there and maybe when i have time to read up about it more i'll do a whole video just on that because i find it very interesting i hope you enjoyed this one it was a long one, and again, sorry for the repetition and the fragmentary nature. I'll try and pick something that is a bit more complete next week. Bye.